Welcome to Glasgow, home of the Transmit Festival. Grab your bottle of Buckfast. We're back in Transmit for another wild year. And once again, Scotland proved it's one of the best places in the world. Join TPD this week for a wild ride at Glasgow Green. We can't possibly give enough thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Without you, we literally couldn't do this. Join now for extended cuts and exclusive early access. Good morning, everyone out there on the internet. It is me, Robert, and I'm here with Ryan and Jake. And today we are going up to Glasgow. We have literally just left 2000 Trees and had a nap in this hotel. Now on the road to Glasgow for our favorite fucking city festival in the world. God, this literally does look like fucking Privet Drive. 17. there we go. Who's buying the Mustang Marky? Mustang Marky! <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice gaff. Raz, how much did this cost us on the old internet? £490. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say it was cheap. £490? What? Yep. What do you know? Well, what? it's not that nice then. For two nights for Fucking hell. seven people. Jesus, no wonder we never got any money. Right, we're ready to go to Transmit Festival. Yes. This is a great festival. Love it, you know. I'm really actually happy to be here, even though I'm so, tired. So am I. I'm knackered. We had such a good time last time as well, me and you. Mary, have you ever been to Transmit before? No. You're going to have a great time, you know. It's fucking sick. Because, like, not only have you got Transmit, there's Cathy after. It's great. Yes, I And am. Book's Bar tomorrow. I'm not having chicken and breakfast. Yes, you fucking yes, are. God, I fucking love Scotland. That taxi driver was fucking brilliant. Was very they, they, they always are Speed great. <laughs> Top <laughs> fucking boy. Glasgow cars, very good. So, because because we um, have lots of great friends in Scotland, we've got a VIP ticket, but you can buy one of those for this much and you'll get everything we're about to get today. We've just got here and what better way to start off our day with something me and Rob came all the way to Glasgow to do. Bit of bongos bingo, bitch. We don't have any bingo cards. How are they doing it without the bingo card? Just remember. Me and Rob went to bongos bingo in Glasgow a few months ago. And I had a great time, Rob got very fucked. We put a TikTok out and it kept getting flagged, so if you saw that, well done, you didn't. Hello everyone, and welcome as you join us as we go to our first ever Bongo's Bingo in Glasgow. If anyone doesn't know what Bongo's Bingo is, it's basically somewhere where mainly 25 to 50 year old women go to drink and watch half naked men dance on stage whilst also playing bingo. The drinks kept flowing though, and the more they did, the more fucked we got. Mainly Rob though. And this is when the night became most fun. To pay me hundred pounds to be here. So maybe we'll just stick to gigs for now, unless you've got any recommendations of where we should go next. I had a great time. Like, if you've never been to a bongo's bingo before, go. It's full of like mums and shit. You just know that eighty percent of the crowd here have already been drinking for the past like three hours. We've already got a whoop. There it is, and it's only fucking two p.m. No, it's not ten to two. Oh, in which case. Five hours. It turns out it's just a bongos bingo DJ set. Probably about as much nonsense as a TPD one, to be fair. Let's keep exploring. Every single person here is just so loud. Like, you couldn't have a nice sit down conversation, quiet conversation with anyone here. Everyone just wants to scream and shout. Let and, it and all out. It's making me anxious, honestly. We're here too. There's Mary and me. We're at Transmit in Glasgow City. I'm not going to rap to you. I'm going <laughs> to stop right there. We're going to find Mary a vape first because she's an idiot and left it at the flat. Let's see what Transmit's about. We've never been. And you know what? I love a festival where it's not camping and you can stay in a nice gas. You can have a shower before you go in and just freshen up. It's going to be a good day, I think, don't you? Oh, it's me. Hello, uh, welcome to the merch stand at Transmit where unlike other festivals you can upgrade to VIP for £60 which I think is like a spur of the moment decision, that's not a bad shout. Drinks are a little bit cheaper in VIP so you would break even if you bought this many pints in a day. cheaper. Some of the merch is actually quite alright, like it's quite nice. Not for you today, slag. You know what, I'm alright, I'm a general bitch. Here we are, Transmit, first time ever, you excited? She, she meant yeah. So I found Rob quite easily. Um, you'll never guess where I was. VIP? Would you believe? Fuck me. Get out of it and get in the fucking general admission field, you cunt. Went to this place here called Dirty Bird Fried Chicken. Just how I like them, right? A chicken burger with chipotle mayo. Very good. 
11 quid, that got polished the fuck off, look at that. Here's another thing, do you think Danny White holds the camera way too close to his face when he speaks? Like, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, uh, it's some babbling bullshit. It's way too close, man, back it off a little bit, let the, enjoy the, the scenery behind you, there's loads of stuff going on, information that can be captured. Fucking hell, don't you see your good face so close? Anyway, let's go have a good time, I'm gonna have a beer. I basically know fuck all about this band, apart from it's Bono's son. Well, Bono's boring, so I can't, I can't imagine his son's gonna be any more interesting. Got that rock with your one, baby. What do you think? Oh, it's shite. Well, while they're off to see a shit band called Inhaler that I literally don't care about at all, a bit boring for me. We're hanging out in the guest area, just having a few drinks, because why the fuck not? Yes, we're in the guest area. I'll await the comments. Go on then, while you're there, give us some disses. Yep, thanks for the comment, appreciate the engagement. So what's the sellers, Raz? Yeah, I'm here checking that everyone is gender neutral so that we can go in. I just have to check. Ah, uh, smooth like a Barbie. Right, me and Mary are going to go on the most expensive ride I've ever been on at a festival. It's better than the big wheel at Parkline. 34 quid for two of these. What? Feeling good? Great, but I do need a piss. You tell us now we're fucking bolted in. This is Dan. That's you. People make Glasgow. Dan. There you go. People do. Blue box drop dead. All the vlog. Blue box is here. Here we go. Chugging the box. Because he's a Patreon supporter. Oh, here you go. I mean, are you going to chug it as well? I'll chug it. See you guys. No, he's just going to watch you do it. You realise there's no chance of me winning this. Because I've got a nice pint now to enjoy. <laughs> look at that, what am I meant to do? It started to rain, I thought it might be just a little bit of spitting, so I held off a little bit, but looking outside, it looks like full on rain, so I think it's time to bring out the human condom. That is the tightest hood I've ever had. I need a bigger size. I ain't seen much of this festival yet, but fuck me, is it busy? Like everywhere we go, there's just tons of people and everyone looks about 12 and like they're on drugs and I don't get that because it's supposed to be like a 16 plus festival but somehow they're in. That was like a long queue for the bar. Yep. And we haven't had a long queue yet all year for a bar. Nope, I'm willing to wait for it. Let's see how long it is. I'd Let's like give it a beer. whirl. What's the order and how much was it? Four vodka rebels, four waters, 48 pounds. That was concise. Yeah. Shit look Glass, Can't interesting glass. glass. It's cardboard. What's wrong with you? Birds are shitting everywhere. Don't have under your nose, man. Get over here. Oh my god, there's fucking loads of them. You get me under that nose of yours. Everyone, get under his nose. Get under his nose. <laughs> nose. nose. <laughs> Much better. Feel safe now. Shout out to the guy at Glastonbury that also did that. I've truly never been to a festival where I've seen so many people get kicked out. The guy just over there just got escorted out by the security. What are you guys doing in Scotland? Just have a good time. All right, we're off to see the world's smiliest rapper, H. <laughs> Tell me that's not the lead singer of the Raytons. I reckon, I reckon it's the same person. Raz was just saying, imagine if you lived there, right? You wouldn't get a very good view of the act, but you could stand on your balcony singing with a rock band 2 microphone, pretending that the crowd was for you while you're singing like Creep by Radiohead. What is that on your neck? Oh my god, what is that? Ugly head! <laughs> 
seen a lot of people here who must teach like reception or year one because their pupils are tiny. Where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, that came out of nowhere, did it? Fucking hell. I feel like I'm at a park life festival. I hope so because I got loads of views. Anyway, why is it sunny? Why is it sunny? God, I've hit the world's biggest wall, man. I suppose this is what we're kind of learning. Like, we've already done a festival this weekend, and now we're at another one once again. Like, I think there was going to be a point where we just kind of crashed a little bit. I could just do with an hour nap. An hour nap and I'll be fine. I'm having a great time. This is a good festival. It is a great festival. I'm just tired. Hi, tired. Hello. Five pounds for some chips, which is fine, but they don't have much flavour to them. It don't, it don't look as cool as last weekend. I almost cut myself off. They don't want you! That's fucking beautiful. Oh, you know it's a place I feel. Got it really is raining. Look how wet that floor is. It's a massive puddle that came out of nowhere. Jesus. We got our back to the wall. This is certainly very reminiscent of the first transmit that happened. The first one me and Rob went to when we saw the 975 and Biffy Clyro, it was pissing down then, it's pissing down now. Yesterday I checked my rotor and realised that I've actually got today off. I'm going to go all the way up to Glasgow to meet some good pals and see some great bands at the first ever Transmit Festival. <laughs> Change it for the world. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just started feeling a bit sick. Like something's going on in my stomach, and I don't know what. So if I end up sobbing tonight, this is a fair warning. The wine revolution is real. Wine is the new. In I like wine. We're gonna see Sam Fender again. We're gonna give him another chance with an open mind and a great crowd, no doubt, because it's Glasgow. I don't know why Transmit didn't just save some money and book Sam Squire instead. Or even like Sam Yamaha Pacifica. Allow me to interrupt! That was, that was all right, you know. It was fine, do you know what? It was better than Rock Workshop. 100%, 100%. I'll tell you what, people at Leeds Fest will love that, I guarantee and it. And I will once again go in with an open mind, and do you know what, it wouldn't surprise me if I actually end up being a bit so of a Sam Fender fan. the end fan. of the year, we might stay for an entire set. But I guess if you have to really kind of coach yourself onto it, maybe it's not that good after all, but, the Cat House now, our favourite club in Glasgow City Centre. Do you want a key? Do you want a key? Banter. <laughs> Two things. Number one, transmit my 52nd gig of the year. So I've hit my goal about four or five months earlier than last year. So we're gonna go for 100. Second of all, why are you not streaming Death Express? Literally, I'll play you some now. Come on, it's right there. The link's in the description. I want to play a concert with Razzy. We want to sell out the key club. Make it happen. Where are we going, Raz? 
catty. Are you excited? Yes, I can't wait to get this fucking thing off me. You can take it off now. No, it's written. Home sweet home, the best fucking bar. Great night tonight in the cat house. It's been a while since I've spent that long in there and I almost just got run over. You are free to the live chat menu. Press one for available girls online. Press two if you know the girl's pin number. Press four to hear real sexy stories. Press one to hear real sexy stories. Press nine to repeat these options. Good God, why does it smell so bad in here? Just Mind boys. your business. Boys being boys, mate. Some of us are out till four in the fucking morning. Yeah, but you were listening to shite. It don't matter, mate. I listen to whatever the DJ hey. plays. Nice setup. You've been camming last night. These guys have been camming last night. Canning. Look. Canning. I didn't say that though, did I? Dirty no, we've well. been canning red stripes. No, you guys have been on um, red, red on that. Stripe. What the fuck's that website called? Oh, what what, what is, is that website called? It smells like it sweat. smells awful in here. It is dreadful. It's not really any of your fucking business, but I guess we'll open these so you two princesses stop running. What we were doing last night is none of your business. All right, we came, we went out, we had a we good came. time. Yeah, you caused the came. We combed our pubes and then we went to bed. What you've just witnessed here is what's known to detectives as confession by omission. Because it was already confirmed in earlier interrogations that there was only one comb in the property and that belonged to Daniel, it is safe to assume with this amount of evidence that the comb that Rob and Raz used to trim their pubes with was Dan's. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I got the bag, baby. I got the bag. You got the bag. I got the bag. Got the bag. Not did like just unwind it. Yeah, that's shit. Just sadly the bit that's gonna then have to come. Add time. So we're on site at Transmit Festival, and as nice as it was for Dan to buy me a Starbucks sandwich, I hate them. I need some food. I don't really have time. So of course, you know this video is sponsored by the homies at Y Food. We love Y Food. You already know this. We're always busy. Don't always have time to eat. Y Food is a complete meal in a bottle, and I take one of these everywhere with me, and I absolutely love them. You need a nice full tummy when you're at a festival. So big up Y Food. I had a chicken burger for me yesterday, and it was 11 quid. 11 quid for a chicken burger. You know it's not 11. Why food? It's not a protein shake or a health drink though. Remember that, yeah? But I'm just so hungry. I don't know what I fancy for any of these food vendors. Get your Why food here! Oh, hi. Is this Why food? It certainly is, sir. What is it? Try it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man who didn't know the brief and he's just been told to film something. We can joke about this, but this is genuinely so good. It, you know what? Every flavour is yeah. nice. My favourite is the banana, so if you want to be like me, get the banana. Thank you so much, Y Food, for sponsoring this video and all the videos that you've sponsored. And more importantly, thanks for sending us Y Foods because we literally love them. They taste amazing. They give you everything you need in one nice big swig. So click the link in the description, use the code on screen now, grab yourself some Y Food. There's loads of festivals still to go this year, so don't turn up to a festival without them. We love you, Y Food. Check them out, treat yourself. Code in the description. Let's go see some bands. Why food? Why not? <laughs> Very good. A Dover. You know something weird as well? Whenever I get someone in my DMs asking for like pictures of my feet, they always want them to be sweaty and disgusting. Because why is some, that a thing? Some people are just weird as fuck. Like some of the requests I've had have been like, go out in the garden with no socks on and just send me a picture. It's like, why do you actually want to see that? You need to have a long out look in the mirror. <laughs> Find Robin and Crowd. Alright, Kellis, see you look up. 
So us two tramps forgot to put the urgent on this morning. So we've come out and gone to the shop and bought some links, which is the best a man can get. Is it? No, that's Gillette. Uh, and now we're going in this park full of kids to go on the slide. It's not weird. Come on up. It's like getting into bed, isn't it? Come on, you can do it. See you on the other side. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's great. No that. Mary, I'm interested to see your opinion of Bob the Villain. Yeah, I like so, I look forward to hearing your review in half an hour. Bob Villain's going on, motherfucker! Kill the fucking king and his pedophile brother! <laughs> One thing that I've learned over my many years of experience of going out and getting fucked is that a hangover is all in your head, right? You just need to keep yourself busy and then the hangover just goes away. Coffee this morning, big drink of water, have something to eat and then a beer and I'm fine but I am dying for a piss. So I've been to Mam's kitchen, got myself a pad thai for 14 pounds, very expensive, but it is really fucking is that nice. And prawn? No, it's just prawn and egg. Oh nice. It's lovely though. Now you've taken my ten. So at Transmit, they've got something I've never seen before at a festival, the Jenny Newts toilet. Used by everyone. A lot of people seem to think that it's only for transgender people, like when I've been in the queue for it. Have you heard that as well? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, why would you even think that? It's just for anybody, do you mm. know what I mean? But it's a great idea. It means you can have a piss with all your friends now that have to be segregated as normal. And what did you think about Villain? Unreal. Well, I kind of wanted to not like that, and I, I thought I wasn't liking it just because of how it looked. But then I thought about how it tasted, and it was pretty good. Pretty good. What's happening, Dan? So I'm getting a massage, my shoulders are killing me from carrying the channel. So I have to get them sorted out. So I'm here at the massage parlor at Transmit of all places. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine, sorry. I feel like a new man, I got strength for 10 men, or as most people would say, two razzies, because he's really fucking strong. If you're ever at a festival and want a massage, go get one, because I feel great now. I feel lighter than air. I'm gonna float like a butterfly, maybe sting like a bee, but I'm not that into violence, so. Right, we're here at um, Ketamine Central this weekend. There's toilets, right? And if you don't want to go in the toilet cubicle, you can go for a piss behind the cubicle. You're not supposed to, but you can do that. So I went back there and had a piss, and there must have been about 15 mans just shoveling stuff into their nose, and I'm pretty sure they were all underage, but you got to, and that's all I've got to say about that. What's this? I know this song. This came out when I started going to clubs. Tiny temper, mate. Yeah. You've joined us at uh, Oceana's Popping Crisps Night. It's, it's a joke not many people will get because Oceana's is closed. It's just a popping crisp night wherever your city does it. It was evolution when we were a kid, then Oceana. It's all bollocks. It's just full of kids shagging and doing drugs. There's this big ride here and we've not seen it on all weekend. So there's obviously been, I don't know, maybe some kind of licensing issue or something. And you can see the owner here just contemplating all the money he's lost by bringing the ride that can't run to Transmit Festival. If you know about drinking, you know Four Loco gets you fucked. So we've come to Four Loco 10 to get a little bit fucked. I have a love-hate relationship with Fall Loco. It's brilliant for getting you where you need to be. Not so good in the morning. One's a good time. We were chatting with Fall Loco and they, we were kind of talking about sponsoring a video with them. But I don't know if you can do that on YouTube. So if anyone knows, because our YouTube guy doesn't know either. If anyone knows if you can advertise alcohol on YouTube, let me know. I've just farted loads coming out of that cube. Oh, oh that stinks. <laughs> What? It's tropical. Totally tropical, dude! That's just fucking easy cheesy. They're not fooling anyone. Fuck off! So, just coming back from the toilets, ended up speaking to this guy, lovely guy, Nikki. These two girls came over, starstruck. So I was like, oh, cool. You know, like, nice, nice to meet some viewers. They were like, oh my god, you're from Kasabian, aren't you? 
<laughs> I didn't know really that how to respond because I don't know which one from Chris Sabian the ball one. was. But... The drummer is the drummer for sure. <laughs> What a world that we live in. A world where there's a separate bin just for vapes. Did you know that every one second, two of those vapes makes someone look like a fucking wanker? Just have a cigarette. Ross, from the 975, would just stood right there. And I'm just too much of a pussy. Just go so high, too. I'd end up, I'd end up just being like, a boo. And now he's gone and I've missed my Why don't we go buy his drink? Let's go buy his drink. Come on. And what a great photo as well. Hey, cheers. Well, it's been a long day and we're all very, very tired. So I think it's time for a nap. This is the part of the set where nothing happens. Well, like every other part. This is the best part of the show. Yeah! Woohoo! I love it! Great show. That was good, that. I'm glad it's over. No, it's not over. It's just the time when they do nothing for a bit. Yeah, so this is the best part. Woo! Yeah! Oh my Cause god. Because so, they brought their own bed. Like, <laughs> don't put this in the vlog if someone dies, but I think they've killed someone in Borden. I like my wine how I leave my women on red. There's a, there's a joke in there, just connect the dots yourself. The Royal Blood are just finishing. I'm pretty hammered. Mary's pretty hammered. We're on the red, red wine. And it's time for a band we like. And he 
he's got a suit on. Bolton Vision. I mean, I've seen some 1975 wow. shows in my fucking time. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. God, that was fucking mental. I mean, watching the 1975 is pretty good anyway, but to do it with such a great squad. I mean, we always do it with a great squad, but to do it there, in that place, like, I remember going to the first ever Transmit Festival and watching Matty Healy out of his mind on smack, supporting Biffy Clyro in the rain. And there was just something so nice about like being back on that ground, watching them headline, telling us about Reading and Leeds, meeting Ross. Much, many other things happened that were fucking brilliant this weekend. And just, just a moment of gratitude. Eh? Let's get fucked up. <laughs> Well, the tidiest boys in Glasgow have called it a night. Yep. Sensible, very sensible. Comment below, you guys are sensible. Hurry up, she's got 20 seconds of dick. She's not doing anything right now. She's just moving her body to make it look like she's doing something. No one has a wank like that. Come on! She's got five seconds. Your dick. Hopefully, Rob can do a funny edit with this but if if this does make it into video trust me there's a lass on screen and she's the camera's cutting off conveniently there she's shaking all about like she's doing something to herself and every time that it gets close to the countdown she's like i'm gonna and then she's like let's do another two minutes that's another four quid love do you think I've made money? <laughs> Do you reckon 11 minutes of this shit? <laughs>